Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live session. Today's topic is top 10 data analysis tools. But before we begin, I'd like to thank our viewers on YouTube and Facebook for actively participating in these sessions. So let's wait for a while for people to tune in. If you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in our chat section and we will be happy to answer them. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Now let's get started. Before I start off with the top 10 data analysis tools, I'd like to talk a bit about data analysis. So have you ever wondered why data analysis is important? There are zillions of companies across the world. All these companies generate a lot of data. They literally work with this generated data. These companies depend on data to make crucial decisions which can impact their businesses. Data in its raw format has to be converted into meaningful information which can then be used by organizations. This is done by analyzing the generated data and for this we have data analysis. So what is data analysis? Data analysis is not just a single step, but a set of processes. It is the process of collecting data, then cleaning it. When I say cleaning, it simply means removing the irrelevant data. And then this data is transformed into meaningful information. We can simply relate this process to how you make a jigsaw puzzle. Just like how you gather all the pieces together and fit them accordingly to bring out a beautiful picture. Data analysis also works on almost the same grounds. To achieve the goals of data analysis, we use a number of data analysis tools. Companies rely on these tools to gather and transform their data into meaningful insights. So which tool should you choose to analyze your data? Which tool should you learn if you want to make a career in this field? We will answer that in this session. After extensive research, we have come up with these top 10 data analysis tools. Here, we will look at the features of each of these tools and the companies using them. So let's start off. At number 10, we have Microsoft Excel. All of us would have used Microsoft Excel at some point, right? It is easy to use and one of the best tools for data analysis. Developed by Microsoft, Excel is basically a spreadsheet program. Using Excel, you can create grids of numbers, text and formulae. It is one of the widely used tools, be it in a small or large setup. The interface of Microsoft Excel looks like this. Let's now move on to the features of Excel. Firstly, Excel works with almost every other piece of software in Office. We can easily add Excel spreadsheets to Word documents and PowerPoint presentations to create more visually appealing reports or presentations. The Windows version of Excel supports programming through Microsoft's Visual Basic for Applications, VBA. Programming with VBA allows spreadsheet manipulation that is difficult with standard spreadsheet techniques. In addition to this, the user can automate tasks such as formatting or data organization in VBA. One of the biggest benefits of Excel is its ability to organize large amounts of data into orderly logical spreadsheets and charts. By doing so, it's a lot easier to analyze data, especially while creating graphs and other visual data representations. The visualization can be generated from specified group of cells. Those were few of the features of Microsoft Excel. Let's now have a look at the companies using it. Most of the organizations today use Excel. Few of them that use it for analysis are the UK-based company Ernest & Young, then we have Urban Pro, Wipro and Amazon. Moving on to our next data analysis tool, at number 9, we have RapidMiner. A data science software platform, RapidMiner provides an integrated environment for data preparation, analysis, machine learning, and deep learning. It is used in almost every business and commercial sector. RapidMiner also supports all the steps of the machine learning process. Seen on your screens is the interface of RapidMiner. Moving on to the features of RapidMiner. Firstly, it offers the ability to drag and drop. 
it is very convenient to just drag drop some columns as you are exploring a data set and working on some analysis. RapidMiner allows the usage of any data and it also gives an opportunity to create models which are used as a basis for decision making and formulation of strategies. It has data exploration features such as graphs, descriptive statistics, and visualization which allows users to get valuable insights. It also has more than 1,500 operators for every data transformation and analysis task. Let's now have a look at the companies using RapidMiner. We have the Caribbean airline Leeward Islands Air Transport. Next, we have the United Health Group the American online payment company PayPal and the Austrian telecom company Mobilecom. So that was all about RapidMiner. Now let's see which tool we have at number 8. We have Talent at number 8. Talent is an open source software platform which offers data integration and management. It specializes in big data integration. Talent is available both in open source and premium versions. It is one of the best tools for cloud computing and big data integration. The interface of Talent is as seen on your screens. Moving on to the features of Talent. Firstly, automation is one of the great boons Talent offers. It even maintains the tasks for the users. This helps with quick deployment and development. It also offers open source tools. Talent lets you download these tools for free. The development costs reduce significantly as the processes gradually speed up. Talent provides a unified platform. It allows you to integrate with many databases, SaaS, and other technologies. With the help of the data integration platform, you can build flat files, relational databases, and cloud apps 10 times faster. Those were the features of Talent. The companies using Talent are Air France, L'Oreal, Capgemini and the American multinational pizza restaurant chain Domino's. Next on the list at 7 we have Nime. Constance Information Miner on Nime is a free and open source data analytics, reporting and integration platform. It can integrate various components for machine learning and data mining through its modular data pipelining concept. NIME has been used in pharmaceutical research and other areas like CRM customer data analysis, business intelligence, text mining, and financial data analysis. Here is how the interface of NIME application looks like. Now coming to the NIME features. NIME provides an interactive graphical user interface to create visual workflows using the drag and drop feature. Use of JDBC allows assembly of nodes blending different data sources, including pre-processing such as ETL, that is extraction, transformation, loading, for modeling, data analysis, and visualization with minimal programming. It supports multi-threaded in-memory data processing. Nine allows users to visually create data flows, selectively execute some or all analysis steps, and later inspect the results, models, and interactive views. Nime Server automates workflow execution and supports team-based collaboration. Nime integrates various other open source projects such as machine learning algorithms from Becca, H2O, Keras, Spark, and our project. Nime allows analysis of 300 million custom addresses, 20 million cell images, and 10 million molecular structures. Some of the companies hiring for Nime are United Health Group, ASML, Fractal Analytics, Atos, and Lego Group. Let's now move on to the next tool. We have SAS at number 6. SAS facilitates analysis, reporting, and predictive modeling with the help of powerful visualizations and dashboards. In SAS, data is extracted and categorized, which helps in identifying and analyzing data patterns. As you can see on your screens, this is how the interface looks like. Moving on to the features of SAS. Using SAS, better analysis of data is achieved by using automatic code generation and SAS SQL. SAS allows you to access through Microsoft Office by letting you create reports using it and by distributing them through it. SAS helps with an easy understanding of complex data and allows you to create interactive dashboards and reports. Let's now have a look at the companies using SAS. 
We have companies like Genpact, IQVIA, Accenture, and IBM to name a few. That was all about SaaS. So for all those who joined in late, let me just quickly repeat our list. At number 10, we have Microsoft Excel. Then at number 9, we have RapidMiner. At number 8, we have Talent. At number 7, we have 9. And at number 6, we have SaaS. So far, do you all agree with this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Let's now move on to the next 5 tools in our list. So at number 5, we have both R and Python. Yes, we have two of them in the fifth position. R is a programming language which is used for analysis as well. It has traditionally been used in academics and research. Python is a high-level programming language which has a Python data analysis library. It is used for everything starting from importing data from Excel spreadsheets to processing them for analysis. This is the interface of R. Next up is the interface of the Python Jupyter Notebook. Let's now move on to the features of both R and Python. When it comes to the availability of R and Python, it is very easy. Both R and Python are completely free, hence it can be used without any license. R used to compute everything in memory and hence the computations were limited, but now it has changed. Both R and Python have options for parallel computations and good data handling capabilities. As mentioned earlier, as both R and Python are open in nature, all the latest features are available without any delay. Moving on to the companies using R, we have Uber, Google, Facebook, to name a few. Python is used by many companies. Again, to name a few, we have Amazon, Google, and the American photo and video sharing social networking service, Instagram. That was all about R and Python. At number four, we have Apache Spark. Apache Spark is an open source engine developed specifically for handling large scale data processing and analytics. Spark offers the ability to access data in a variety of sources, including Hadoop Distributed File System HDFS, OpenStack Swift, Amazon S3, and Cassandra. It allows you to store and process data in real time across various clusters of computers using simple programming constructs. Apache Spark is designed to accelerate analytics on Hadoop while providing a complete suite of complementary tools that include a fully featured machine learning library, a graph processing engine, and stream processing. So this is how the interface of Apache Spark looks like. Now let's look at the important features of Apache Spark. Spark stores data in the RAM, hence it can access the data quickly and accelerate the speed of analytics. Spark helps to run an application in a Hadoop cluster up to 100 times faster in memory and 10 times faster when running on disk. It supports multiple languages and allows the developers to write applications in Java, Scala, R or Python. Spark comes up with 80 high-level operators for interactive querying. Spark code for batch processing, join stream against historical data, or run ad hoc queries on stream state. Analytics can be performed better as Spark has a rich set of SQL queries, machine learning algorithms, complex analytics, etc. Apache Spark provides fault tolerance through Spark RDD. Spark resilient distributed data sets are designed to handle the failure of any worker node in the cluster. Thus, it ensures that the loss of data reduces to zero. Conviva, Netflix, IQVIA, Lockheed Martin, and eBay are some of the companies that use Apache Spark on a daily basis. At number three, we have another important growing data analysis tool that is ClickView. ClickView software is a product of Click for business intelligence and data visualization. ClickView is a business discovery platform that provides self-service BI for all business users and organizations. With ClickView, you can analyze data and use your data discoveries to support decision making. ClickView is a leading business intelligence and analytics platform in Gartner Magic Quadrant. 
On the screen, you can see how the interface of ClickView looks like. Now talking about its features. ClickView provides interactive guided analytics with in-memory storage technology. During the process of data discovery and interpretation of collected data, the ClickView software helps the user by suggesting possible interpretations. ClickView uses a new patent in-memory architecture for data storage. All the data from the different sources is loaded in the RAM of the system and it is ready to be retrieved from there. It has the capability of efficient social and mobile data discovery. Social data discovery offers to share individual data insights within groups or out of it. A user can add annotations as an addition to someone else's insights on a particular data report. ClickView supports mobile data discovery within an HTML5 enabled touch feature which lets the user search the data and conduct data discovery interactively and explore other server-based applications. ClickView performs OLAP and ETL features to perform analytical operations, extract data from multiple sources, transform it for usage and load it to a data warehouse. The companies that can help you start your career in ClickView are Mercedes-Benz, Capgemini, Citibank, Cognizant and Accenture to name a few. At number 2, we have Power BI. Power BI is a business analytics solution that lets you visualize your data and share insights across your organization or embed them in your app or website. It can connect to hundreds of data sources and bring your data to life with live dashboards and reports. Power BI is the collective name for a combination of cloud-based apps and services that help organizations collate, manage and analyze data from a variety of sources through a user-friendly interface. Power BI is built on the foundation of Microsoft Excel and has several components such as Windows Desktop application called Power BI Desktop, an online software as a service called Power BI Service, mobile Power BI apps available on Windows phones and tablets, as well as for iOS and Android devices. Here is how the Power BI interface looks like. As you can see, there is a visually interactive sales report with different charts and graphs. Moving on to the features of Power BI, it has an easy drag and drop functionality with features that make data visually appealing. You can create reports without having the knowledge of any programming language. Power BI helps users see not only what's happened in the past and what's happening in the present, but also what might happen in the future. It offers a wide range of detailed and attractive visualizations to create reports and dashboards. You can select several charts and graphs from the visualization pane. Power BI has machine learning capabilities with which it can spot patterns in data and use those patterns to make informed predictions and run what-if scenarios. Power BI supports multiple data sources such as Excel, Tech CSV, Oracle, SQL Server PDF and XML files. The platform integrates with other popular business management tools like SharePoint, Office 365 and Dynamics 365 as well as other non-Microsoft products like Spark, Hadoop, Google Analytics, SAP, Salesforce and MailChimp. Some of the companies using Power BI are Adobe, AXA, Carlsberg, Capgemini and Nestle. Moving on to the next tool. So any guesses as to what we have at number one? You can comment in the chat section below. Finally, on the top of the pyramid, we have Tableau. Gartner's Magic Quadrant of 2020 classified Tableau as a leader in business intelligence and data analysis. Tableau Interactive Data Visualization Software Company was founded in Jan 2003 in Mountain View, California. Tableau is a data visualization software that is used for data science and business intelligence. It can create a wide range of different visualization to interactively present the data and showcase insights. The important products of Tableau are Tableau Desktop, Tableau Public, Tableau Server, Tableau Online and Tableau Reader. This is how the interface of Tableau Desktop looks like. Now coming to the features of Tableau. 
Data analysis is very fast with Tableau and the visualizations created are in the form of dashboards and worksheets. Tableau delivers interactive dashboards that support insights on the fly. It can translate queries to visualizations and import all ranges and sizes of data. Writing simple SQL queries can help join multiple data sets and then build reports out of it. You can create transparent filters, parameters and highlighters. Tableau allows you to ask questions, spot trends and identify opportunities. With the help of Tableau Online, you can connect with cloud databases, Amazon Redshift and Google BigQuery. The companies using Tableau are Deloitte, Adobe, Cisco, LinkedIn and the American e-commerce giant Amazon to name a few. And there you go, those are the top 10 data analysis tools. Let's now have a question and answer session. Please feel free to post your queries in the comment section and we'll respond in the chat. Before the question and answer session, let's recap quickly. In the meanwhile, y'all can post your questions in the comment section below. So at number 10, we have Microsoft Excel. Then at number 9, we have Rapid Miner. At number 8, we have Talent. At number 7, we have 9. At number 6, we have SAS. R and Python at number 5. Apache Spark at number 4. Click View at number 3. Power BI at number 2. And finally, we have Tableau topping the list at number 1. Okay, so now let's get to the Q&A session. I can see there are a lot of questions from our viewers. Let me go ahead and address a few of them. So the first question is, which industries are using SAS and has SAS become a declining tool since the emergence of R and Python? Well, SAS is used in different domains of banking industry like risk analytics, marketing analytics and hedge analytics. SAS is majorly used in the healthcare sector for clinical research and drug development. SAS offers a wide variety of packages for advanced level analytics like SAS IML, which is similar to R, SAS E minor, among others. Of course, companies have started using R and Python for data analysis, but SAS is still relevant and remains a leader in almost every sector of business. Usually, small companies and startups use R and Python as it's free of cost. Another question I see on the screen is, I am a fresher, which tool would you recommend me to learn, ClickView or Tableau? Honestly, you can choose any of the two tools. Both the tools have a high demand these days and a lot of companies are looking for professionals who know ClickView and Tableau. But both of them have their own pros and cons. Tableau is slower than ClickView when it comes to in-memory processing. Tableau's interface is more user-friendly and intuitive. ClickView offers phone support during regular business hours, which Tableau does not. Okay, someone is asking, what is the scope of Microsoft Excel in the future? Will it get overshadowed with the emergence of more sophisticated analytics tools? Indeed, it is true that companies are inventing a number of analytics tools to ease their businesses. But Microsoft Excel continues to be the most preferred tool for reporting and analysis across the globe. It is being used by junior level employees and managers to understand the data and build reports to make business decisions. Also, Microsoft's Power BI tool is built on top of Excel. So in future, Microsoft Excel will not decay at all. I hope that's answered your question. There is another interesting question that is, why has Python become the most dominating programming language for data analytics and machine learning? Initially, the Python language was created only for application development and web development. But since it is open source, there was an opportunity for the Python community to come up with libraries and packages that could be used for data analytics. Python now provides a wide range of libraries for numerical computation, data analysis and visualization as well as machine learning. 
Some of these libraries are NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, SciPy, and Scikit-Learn. So these libraries and their functions make Python the most powerful programming language for data analytics and machine learning. So that brings us to the end of the question and answer session. If you have more questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will be happy to assist you. With that, we have reached the end of this video. Do you agree with our top 10 list? Think we missed anything important? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.